You know, sometimes I do feel like rubbing my one and a half brain cells together and making a dedicated video for each character in this game, painstakingly detailing their lore, design, gameplay, the theories behind them. But ain't nobody got time for that, so how about I instead do what I do most of all, talk shit, as I'm about to give the absolute ultimate perfect I promise summary for every single character's gameplay style. And maybe we do one for their lore and design later, but I've promised so many sequel videos that you know what, never mind, let's just get into it. Amber, the Torch Archon and her twerking bunny headshot Hiller Charles. Kaya, if Mr. Freeze from Batman was actually a hard anime boy instead of a walking refrigerator. Lisa, erotic electrocution. Barbara, part-time idol, part-time deacon, part-time competent healer for everywhere not named Dragonspine, and part-time Nilu Bloom Nuke. Allegedly. You Barbara main scare me. Razor, when the Jojo fan is also a furry. Xiang Ling, she makes sure every Hilicho steak is cooked well done with the help of Pyronado and the world's most powerful AliExpress plushie. The goober thing still confuses me to this day. Beidou, hold elemental skill and watch as everything suddenly decides not to hit you. Xingqiu, uses martial arts fanfiction to somehow become the game's best Hydra applicator. Ningguang, proves that sticks and stones do indeed break your bones. Also, she puts up a geo curtain. Fischl, Burb, Bennett, the creator of the most lethal friendship circle. Noel, shield ability, Claymore, potential monster DPS and a mono element team. Yep, definitely a Geo character. Chong Yun, ice swords, ice swords, and even more ice swords. You get an ice sword and you get an ice sword. Sucrose, because apparently tornadoes are just trampolines. Jean, the Jedi Knight of Favonius with her own friendship circle, though it's a bit windy in it compared to Bennett. Also becomes the most OP character whenever she's near a lake. Diluc, grumpy billionaire decides to make his trauma everyone's problem by setting everyone on fire. Chi Chi, zombie girl attempts to keep you from becoming like her through some healing. Mona, the reason why screenshot damage reddit posts exist. Kuching, she was our Hatham before it was cool. Venti, he likes floating and believes that all enemies should float with him too. Klee, literal arsonist. Diona, she couldn't decide between shielding and healing so she does them both as a side hustle. Child, so violent that he feels the need to have two different weapons to murder you with. Xinyan, a good reminder that mosh pits are meant to be violent. Zhongli, shield daddy. Albedo, earthbending but make it really sparkly. Ganyu, hold left click release, 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 hold Xiao, defends leeway by becoming a very angry pogo stick. Hu Tao, pyromaniacal ghost god decides to send every enemy to the afterlife so that she can sell more coffins. Rosaria can literally increase her crit rate by stabbing you in the back, that should tell you everything you need to know. Yanfei, when the lawyer decides that the best way to settle matters is a heated battle in street court. Eula, when the flamenco performance that you're watching turns extremely violent. Kazuha, maximum suck. Ayaka, will leave you questioning why you don't play permafreeze when you use a burst and blow enemies all the way to Kanria. Sayu, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yoimiya, she really really likes New Year's Eve. Sora, the gameplay equivalent of trying to hold the Raiden Shogun's hand. The Raiden Shogun, just her existence kills half the enemies in sight. Kokomi, maybe one day she'll crit, but for now she'll have to settle for being the best pure healer in the game, that's so lame. Toma, what happens when the resident house husband has to face a bunch of robbers. Goru, literally lives in Ito's pocket. Ito, the most unga bunga Genshin character to ever unga bunga. Yunjin, for when you feel like turning Goimiya's firework arrows into machine gun tracer rounds. Shenha, because apparently barely contrained sociopathy makes you a really good cryo support. Yaimiko, the queen of AFK and mobile players. Ayato, speed, I am speed. Yelan, imagine Shincho but make them a hot mysterious woman and sacrifice some hydro application for inexplicable amounts of damage through water bondage. Kuki Shinobu, when the healer also needs bandages. Heizu, imagine Elle from Death Note was also Ken from Street Fighter. Kale, boomerang skill and trash panda burst, are we sure she's not Australian? Tainari, proves that the Lorax was right because if you mess with the forest, a fennec will appear and decide to headshot you. Dori, as if we didn't have enough cultural appropriation, now she fights with a genie. Candace, oh dear god, they made Hydro Beidou. Sino, ultra instinct razor. Nilu, for people whose pastimes include blowing themselves up. Nahida, somehow this child is both a god and arguably the best dendro support in the game. Layla, take Zhongli's shields, mix in a bit of Ganyu burst, make them really sleepy, actually she's just a Ganyu and Zhongli fusion dance now that I think about it. Farijan, exists because some short animal boys needed some help with their DPS. Wanderer, Avatar Aang's powers but with Zuko's attitude and aggression. 
Yo yo, on the latest edition of Inexplicably Powerful Teddies, now the plushie actually heals you. I'll hate them. I've already made an I'll hate them coaching joke and I'm lazy, so repeat the coaching entry but backwards. Dear, inexplicably the only tank archetype we have in the game that also believes that the best weapons are these hands. Mika, how does this dude have more weapons than child? Also, you lose one buff in 78 years. Kave is apparently too bougie to hold a weapon, so fights with a literal briefcase. Baiju, he loves his day job as a doctor so much that he just continues to do that gameplay wise. Kirara, cat in a box. The net, cat in a box. But also not really cat in a box because her playstyle is as an animal support, but also cat in a box because she's a magician's assistant, but also Linny. And for his next trick, Pyrogonia is about to make all your health disappear. Fremene, they finally remember that the shatter reaction exists. Nuvillette. Risley, take Steve Fox from Tekken, combine him with Elsa from Frozen, give him a Thanos glove, and make him watch Fight Club 64 times. And there we have it, I'm sure that I described every Genshin character perfectly down to a molecular and spiritual level. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that thumbs up and that strange red button to make sure that you know when I'm up to more shenanigans. But for now, safe tidings traveler, I'll see you in the next one.